What's up, folks? It's Dan here from BeGameCharacter.com, and we're here for another episode of Fight Nights. And we're going into a fight that I already know, and I'm already kind of familiar with, and chances are, if you're a fan of action movies, especially those from uh, across the ocean, you'll be familiar with it as well. The movie is Old Boy! The fight scene is the famous corridor fight scene. So, uh, we're gonna watch right now. I'm gonna switch over to the monitor. There we go. Hello. And, uh, yeah, if you've never seen the movie, I'm not going to say anything about it or spoil anything about it for you or anything like that. We're just going to look at the fight scene. You can enjoy the fight scene, then you should go watch Old Boy. And the original, not the remake. Oh. Stand by. There we go. Hey, God, I put my headphones in. I love the beginning of this fight. Asking what their blood types are. <laughs> <laughs> Go! Shoo! <laughs> and then he drops the knife and goes in with the hammer. So, what I love about this fight scene, first of all, uh, one of the things that it's famous for is the fact that it was shot entirely in one take. You'll notice that there is not a single cut in this entire fight. And it took over three days to shoot it like that, and I think they did 17 attempts. Um, but they uh, shot this all in one take, and so like this is the first like hallway fight one take scene that you now see in a lot of things, uh, particularly the uh, Netflix Marvel TV shows do the hallway fight scenes a lot in one take now and stuff like that, but they're all based off of this. I love this. He's hitting it with a hammer. He's like, this is the other good thing about this fight scene is that they all attack him at once. This is not like most kung fu style movies where one guy at a time goes at him. The only time you see one person at a time going at him, it makes sense. Because, like, you know, he's got uh, the, he's got him on the ropes, he's got a hammer or something like that. Right here, they all get up, and then they all start coming at him again. See, he gets hit in the back with that stick. Now, luckily, they're using balsa wood as their sticks, apparently, so he's not under that much threat. But <laughs> I love the traditional... Uh, uh, boxing type stance that he takes here interestingly enough boxing is one of the best arts to learn for facing multiple opponents for a number of reasons first off because if you kick a lot you have a chance of losing your footing and losing your footing in a group fight is just a recipe for getting your ass kicked as happens to him in this fight a couple of times uh, secondly boxing focuses on knockout strikes instead of body blows like some karate styles do so in a multiple person fight like this, the sooner you can incapacitate an opponent and move on to another person, the better. Notice now they are kind of coming at him one at a time, but that's because in a hallway, you can only really come at him once. And now he's got his hammer. He's like, give me my hammer back. I want my hammer. Give me my hammer. Give me my hammer. Fine, you can have the hammer. I need a break. This is another thing that's great about this is that the fact that everybody gets tired and beat. Everybody's tired. Fights are really tiring. If you're in a fight, it's a tiring, unpleasant affair, even if you don't have a knife stuck in your back. Is he dead? They've been asking that question for a long time. Big dude took a while to go down. I'm going to throw the stick at you. <laughs> this, is what, this is what realistically happens in any kind of drawn-out fight. He gets his hammer back. You reach a point where nobody really wants to fight anymore because it's tiring and fighting hurts. Like, you'd, you'd underestimate what it takes to go through five rounds in a UFC championship match or something like that. Oh, this is the best part of the scene. Elevator, ding. The blood, and here it comes. <laughs> the smile. With the hallway behind him. <laughs> and then, uh... Despite the fact that we don't get to see it, I'm convinced that that elevator fight scene that we missed right there was also the inspiration for the Captain America fight scene. You know the one I'm talking about. <laughs> and down goes the hammer. All right, so let's go back and analyze some stuff. Uh, first off, the initiation of the fight. He comes at, he slips the first and comes in with the hammer on the second. Now, when you're fighting multiple opponents, your best bet is to keep your opponent that you're currently fighting between the other opponent or opponents that you don't want to be fighting. You want to fight one guy at a time. Since this guy was coming at him with a wide strike that he could slip, he chose to slip and instead go for the guy that's got a better braced stance here and might actually be able to stand and deliver instead of running right past him. 
That's going to come back to bite him, though. He's going to fight his way through the crowd, and he hasn't quite finished off everybody that's behind him. Here comes guy number one back again. And now he's against a wall, and this is exactly where you don't want to be in a multiple-person fight with everyone all around you. He's lost any advantage he had in using the hallway to his advantage right here. And uh, they didn't finish the guys that he passed and decided to keep moving through the hallway. It's a stupid, stupid idea. I mean, obviously he wants to get to the end of the hallway, but yeah, this is the reason why he gets stabbed in the back. And here it comes, the beatdown. Notice the second he loses his footing, now he's in trouble. Also, just, just to note, this is a semi-realistic analysis. Face it, if you're facing this many guys, even if you have a hammer, you're going to die. It's not going to happen for you. But anyway, so now, again, going down is the worst possible thing in a fight. And they're all just standing around kicking him now. And he's standing up to a lot of abuse and manages to get up again, which is not very realistic. But he does a good thing by, again, keeping an opponent between him and the other people that are trying to fight him. So they don't want to hit their buddy there. They're trying to, you know, slip around and get him. And he's just shoving this guy back because he's got him up on one leg. But again, he's still surrounded on both sides. He's sandwiched, which is not where you want to be. Taking that shot from the balsa wood, and the kick in the ass, and again, kick, 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 kicking. Hit the feet! Hit the feet! Hitting feet is actually a surprisingly valid self-defense technique. Getting stabbed in the back is not. But hitting in someone's foot, assuming they're not wearing like steel toe boots or something like that, very easy to break toes, very, very easy to break the uh, metatarsals higher in the foot. So... And again here, element of surprise. Again, surrounded on all sides, but he manages to clear through, and now he's back in a better spot. And the guys are a little tired. He's a little tired. I don't know how he's fighting with a knife buried in his back. You use your lats a lot when you're throwing punches, but whatever. And again, boxing here, great. Notice he throws one strike and then tries to get out as fast as he can. The other guy clinches. He gets him off. I also want to skip back to, uh, let's see, where's the part... There's a part here, too far, too far, too far. Maybe it's a little further. I'm going to find it. I'm sorry, we're skipping around because I want, there's an Easter egg here that a lot of people don't know about. I think it's right here. Some guy comes in with a big uppercut. Maybe it was the part that we missed. Watch for the big uppercut. Where is it? Where is it? Did I miss it? Am I at the wrong part in the fight? Come on! Taking his shirt off. Now it's serious. That was a good block. Outside block. This is just such a great fight. I could watch this fight over and over again. Where is it? There! Right there! That is... That's it. So you see this guy? Again, they shot this in one continuous take. So this guy comes up. Slips. And right there, you see where he's grabbing his leg? That dude actually broke his ankle, or sprained it, one of the two, in the filming of this fight scene, and they kept going. What are those cool little filming Easter eggs that you hear about? I mean, not cool for him, obviously, but went up through that uppercut, twisted and sprained or broke his ankle, and then just kind of acted it out for the rest of the scene. He might not have had another part, he might have had another part, but he's like, yeah, I'm done. Tap out. This big guy. You're a champ, bro. You are the ultimate evil henchman. Way to go. Your boss would be proud. You saw this dude take out a whole hallway, guys. Your leg's obviously messed up. And you're like, uh, maybe I should still fight. No, no. Oh, okay. This guy throwing the stick. So anyway, yeah. So what we learned, uh, keep an opponent between your other opponents if you can. Uh, boxing is a great style for uh, any style of boxing. Kickboxing, Muay Thai, uh, uh, you know, regular Western boxing. But Western boxing, the idea of standing up and just throwing punches and not throwing kicks, usually a really good idea in a street fight just because, first off, boxing practices live training so you know how to take a hit and how to deliver one, and also because it allows you to stay up on your feet. Maybe we'll just go back to webcam mode for this. Hello. Um, so boxing is a very, very good style to learn. Uh, Jiu-jitsu, while a good art for self-defense against one person, is not great in a street fight against multiple people, just because the second you go down to the ground, other guys start kicking you in the back and the ribs, like we saw in this fight here. Uh, hammer, obviously a very good <laughs> modified self-defense tool. Uh, hitting people in the foot, also very valid self-defense technique, uh, especially of a hammer. 
uh, because the, your feet are actually relatively fragile, at least from the top. They are meant to take force from the bottom, but from the top, it's super easy to break stuff. So stomping techniques, or if you're already on the ground, you know, with a hammer fist or a punch or a actual hammer if you've got one, uh, elbows, anything you've got to attack the feet is great because feet are actually surprisingly fragile from the top. Uh, what else did we learn? Uh, if your opponents have sticks, you better hope they're made of balsa wood so they just break relatively harmlessly on your back. Uh, don't get stabbed in the back, it's a bad idea. And uh, don't mess with a Korean dude on a mission in a hallway. Yeah. So, that's it. Thank you for watching. As always, remember to live boldly, change the world, and continue to be awesome. And if you haven't watched Old Boy yet, go watch it. You owe yourself. The whole movie is fantastic. It's a real treat. So, and also, as always with these Fight Night videos, let me know down below if you have another fight you'd like me to see. I'm still running off the list that we had in RPG Fit Group and also on the old original shout-out video. But I will, if I see one I really like, suggest in the comments below here, grab it, or I'll get to it eventually. So let me know down below if you'd like me to watch a particular fight, and uh, I will get to it when I can. So, again, thank you for watching. As always, remember to live boldly, change the world, and continue to be awesome. Bye-bye.